marketing manager for Hello Wallet. I'll give you a, a quick intro about our company and then I'll dive right into the application. So we are building an online money management and financial guidance application that's really focused on helping our members first understand what's happening with their money on a day-to-day -day basis, but more importantly, um, helping them find the money to do the things they love in life and achieve their financial goals. And so we launched our beta about a year ago at, in San Francisco, and we've been really focused on uh, distributing our product to Fortune 500 companies and large 401k providers as an HR benefit for their employers, for their employees. And we're um, a social mission company, so we are double bottom line. We offer one free membership for every five memberships that we sell to a low and middle income family, and we distribute that through our community partners. And while we've been focused on the employee market in the past, we're actually opening up our application next week to the general public, and we're launching a this conference called Innovate in San Francisco. It's focused on innovation in the financial tip space, so it's definitely a good spot for us to launch at, so everybody here next week will be able to join. Uh, all right, so let's jump right into the application. Log into Gmail. So, um, just to quickly orient you to the structure of our site, the uh, profile transactions budget page are really where we store our traditional money management tools. So you can do things like link up to your, all your financial accounts, get a clear picture of all your transactions in one place, and automatically monitor your budget and keep track of whether you're, you're over or under budget. And so that's the traditional money management tools, uh, really helping people see what they've done with their money in the past. But our main focus is really on providing personalized guidance uh, so that people can improve uh, how they're going to deal with their money in the future. And that's what I'm going to focus on showing you today. So the way we do that is mainly in our plan page. Um, so let me just zoom out real quick. So one of the ways that we try to really um, forecast and really show the future of, of your money is with some of these charts that we have here on the top. Um, and so here you can see we're visualizing somebody's, the value of somebody's goals over their lifetime. And so these are their debt reduction and savings goals that they set in their application. We automatically track their progress. But this type of the visualization is really representing um, uh, when they'll reach their particular milestone. So how old they're going to be, for example, when they pay off their debt. And most people probably have no idea when they're going to be able to pay off their debt. Um, so really, we found that showing this type of information and visualizing it is really powerful in helping people stay motivated and reaching their financial goals. Um, and importantly here too as well is if you notice that you're on, off track in some of your goals, we'll provide you with very personalized recommendations so that you can get back on track. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these recommendations. Uh, and they're really focused on helping you essentially improve uh, that vision of your future and kind of have more of, the, of your wealth going up. And we have hundreds of these types of recommendations. They range from, uh, do you remember that you need to budget for your kid's birthday that's coming in up in two months to uh, think about uh, buying a car in two years when yours is gonna, is gonna run low. So let me show you exactly some of these types of recommendations. Uh, we're really focused on uh, showing, helping people essentially think about what they're not currently thinking about. So here in the system I have a kid named Willow and I'm currently not saving for her college education, and so our system will provide you with recommendations that you need to start saving for her college education. And we have a goal sequence process that will help you find the exact amount that you should allocate to that goal um, when you tell us when you actually want to reach it. The same thing with if you notice that you don't have emergency savings, we'll recommend that you create a rate of day savings goals. Uh, and we get into some more specific things. So here again is my girl Willa. She has a birthday coming up. Uh, we're going to recommend that you budget 75 bucks, but we're all about essentially helping you uh, do what you want with your money and whatever's going to make you happy. And so, if my girl Rilla really wants a pony, and the last time I took a pony market for $1,500, so if that's really what you want to do, that's going to make your happy, and it's going to make you happy, go for it. So, add it, and we take an income constraint approach at our recommendation. So, we noticed that you can uh, allocate 12 99 to this particular but you're short by $200, so you have to find the money from somewhere else. So we're going to help you afford it. So if I click on we afford this, uh, we tell you exactly how much you need to find, and you don't have to cut back in other areas of your budget and set new targets for that particular month so that you can make your girl will happy. happy. Yeah. Once you find your money, um, you know that you're able to achieve what you want, and uh, we'll take you on track if you actually accept it. Other things like life insurance, um, Adding your home maintenance to the budget is something I really like as well. 
uh, this user particularly um, has a home, and something that people often forget about is that the home is going to cost them money to maintain. So we'll proactively make a recommendation that they add to their budget as well. So it's a very forward-looking application. I'll just show one quick type of recommendation because I know we're short on time. Uh, reduced spending. So we're really all about showing the trade-offs. Uh, so what, how do your day-to-day -day money decisions affect your long-term goals? So one thing here is that in your groceries, you notice that last month you spent $100, $131 less than you said you would. Um, and if it's something that's consistently happening, you could be reallocating that money towards one of your savings goals and make 70 grand over the long term. So if you do rethink budget, you're immediately able here to see you know, the trade-off that this would have on, on your retirement goal if over a lifetime you can decrease your money in groceries. Uh, and then we have recommendations if you're on track, we'll off track on certain of your goals, we'll provide you with three options to get back on track. Uh, and that's about it. I didn't want to take up too much time, but really excited to, to watch this next week. Uh, we're actually, we want to give free passes to the DC Tech community. Just really bang on it and give us feedback. So shoot me an email if you're interested. I'm Geraldine at wallet.com. And we're also looking for engineers, Java developers, and PC engineers. So definitely shoot me an email, and I'll be around numbers too if you want to talk to me. Thank you very much.